Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing and I got an awesome present for Christmas. <laughs> the ICD UX570. If you guys remember, I used to have the same Sony voice recorder, but it's the older version. It's the UX560. And I love this thing. It made for like really good audio on my videos, but they don't really make it anymore. So I had to upgrade to the newer version. I tried this Olympus one and let me just turn it on and I'll show you guys what this one sounded like. Let me plug in the mic. Hit record. Testing, testing, testing. This is the Olympus audio recorder with the plugged in mic. Now, it was a really good deal. I thought it was gonna work great for the channel, but it only records in mono. It doesn't record in stereo. So it makes my voice sound like really flat. I couldn't really use it. So what I ended up having to do, even for these studio shots, is use my GoPro audio. So I'd have my GoPro hanging and I'm videoing myself with the GoPro, but it takes up a lot of data just for like an audio clip. I'm, I'm making like a 50 gigabyte clip just to use the audio from the GoPro. And it's really not the best either, especially in the wind. The GoPro is, it's very, uh, it, gets, it can get noisy. I had the Sony, which I loved, but I fell in the water off my kayak and it was in my pocket. just didn't work after that. So for Christmas, my wife got me the new one. Let me unbox it and show you guys what it comes with. It has an internal four gigabytes storage, so you don't even need a memory card. It'll record 159 hours of audio. It, it will take a micro SD card if you need one, but I'll never need one. I never needed one with the old one. I just used the internal. Okay, let's unpackage this. It looks like it's pretty simple. It just has the recorder and a box and some paperwork and that's it. That's all that was in the box. The controls on the, on the voice recorder are pretty simple. They're about the same as the other one. It's got a power button that you slide down to turn it on. And then um, when you plug in the mic for the first time, and you can actually just record like this if you have it setting on the desk. Let's see what that sounds like. Audio Sync Sony Recorder. So this is my GoPro sitting right here. My Sony recorder is sitting right here. And the camera is also recording my audio. So we have three different audio inputs. And I want to see which sounds better. And it's real windy outside, so we're going to go out and do that test in a minute, but you can hear the garage. So testing, testing, testing. This is the audio from the Sony recorder. And like I said before, I fell in the water and I ruined my old one. So I have a little trick that will hopefully keep this one dry. So if I do fall in or it gets splashed, it won't get ruined. Now this is the audio from my Nikon camera. And it doesn't have a mic on it or anything, so the audio is pretty bad. And even when I do plug in the audio mic, it's got this like clicking noise and it, it just never worked out very well. It's like very staticky. And then third is the audio from the GoPro, which sounds pretty good in a, in a studio like this. Okay, let's plug in the mic to the Sony recorder. Switch to mic in. And it's still straight up recording. It, it just noticed the mic and it's still recording. What's cool about this too is it has a hold button. You can slide it up and now you can push all the buttons you want to and it won't it won't like pause or change so when you're fishing you put it in hold, throw it in your pocket and you know it's going to be recording the entire fishing trip. And another thing is it'll record for 159 hours so you can record one huge long audio clip for your entire fishing trip and make sure you get everything. So here is the mic and it's got this little this little wind muff on it 
I love this wind muff. I'll show you guys how well it works later. But I just run it up inside my shirt. Like so. And then I just clip it like right here. And then while I'm fishing, it just rides right here. I'm fishing and it's recording all of my audio and it usually sounds really good. I can't wait to see the footage just to, just to compare. Like the Nikon camera and the audio from the GoPro and the audio from the Sony with the mic plugged in. And I already know this Olympus is trash, but at least we'll be able to compare that to you. So let's take these out into the wind and get some real world testing done. Oh, everybody's got an iPhone. Let's just uh, record myself real quick. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now this is the audio from the iPhone and it'll be pretty interesting to hear how it sounds compared to the GoPro and the Sony and the Nikon. Sorry, my camera is over there. I'm trying to look at the lens and not myself. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. But anyways, this is the audio from, it's a uh, iPhone 11 Pro. Yep, iPhone 11 Pro. All right, guys, we are outside. We have all the audio running. I have the Nikon camera. It's kind of far away, so it's going to sound pretty bad. Probably. And that's just straight up audio from the camera. Now, this is the audio from my iPhone 11 Pro and it's about arm's length away and it's windy this is what it sounds like this is what uh if I had my phone like sitting in my kayak recording my audio and recording my face this is what it would sound like it probably sounds pretty good but I'm guessing you can hear some of the wind noise this is the audio from my GoPro so this is the one that's usually my like the camera that's on my hat it's recording everything that I see it's uh I have lots of experience recording from the GoPro and the audio is actually pretty good but you can definitely hear wind noise and you can see the trees blowing kind of kind of crazy it's a little windy out here it's supposed to be like 15 miles an hour we get gusts of like 25 so it's pretty windy day this is a pretty good test to test out all the audio here on my chest you can see I have my mic and that one's plugged into the Sony audio recorder and it should be like beautiful audio no sound noise whatsoever from the wind um, Ooh, here comes a good gust Ooh, that that's a good gust of wind right there I'm gonna probably play that one back on all three cameras um, ooh, here comes a good gust. Ooh. That, that's a good gust of wind right there. I'm going to probably play that one back on all three cameras. Um, ooh, here comes a good gust. Ooh. That, that's a good gust of wind right there. I'm going to probably play that one back on all three cameras. That, that's a good gust of wind right there. I'm going to probably play that one back on all three cameras. But the Sony audio recorder with the mic, I know they make a mic adapter for the GoPro, but you have to take the little window off. So you have to take that window off right there to access the port. See, I'll flip it up. When the window's up like that, you plug in that little audio recorder, like adapter, and then the camera's no longer waterproof. So it makes it, uh, if you fall in, you just ruined a $400 GoPro. I'd much rather ruin a $60 Sony audio recorder than a $400 GoPro. But it is another option for using like a mic with the GoPro. And they make adapters too for the iPhones where you can plug in the microphone into the charging port for the iPhone. But honestly, for me, the easiest thing that I've come up with is the audio recorder. And I really love the audio recorder and how smooth and clean the audio comes out of it. Most of my videos this year are going to be using the audio recorder. So no more wind noise. I know that's going to make y'all happy. It makes me happy.
Weedless Wacky. Never fished here before. I think it's a good way to start. Lots of ducks. There we go, check that out. There are bass in here. He's not a very big one, but I got him. Oh. We are not skunked. He was right there by that tree. That's a bass. Little largemouth. Yeah, thanks. Got him on that Gary Yamamoto, my confidence bait. So I was hoping it would be windy today, so we could test out my new my new mic. But instead, it's pretty calm here at this pond, and there are fish in here. So let's go see if we can get some more. That's the only thing bad about these Gary Yamamoto's. Look at that one fish. And it's already like halfway ripped in half. But it still looks good. Hmm. Look at that. Something was kicking up some dirt. I wonder if there's carp in here. Well, he's got himself a fish. That was a fish just jumped right there too. Well, we didn't get skunked. And we're going to get to test out the new voice recorder. I got it right here. So, all in all, I think it was a success. We got to test out this pond. It is way bigger than I thought it would be. But, anyways, you guys, thanks for watching, and remember to fish, learn, and repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, you guys, as you can see, that was a crazy difference once we went out there in the wind. So, my trick is to keep this safe so I got this little tiny waterproof bag. It's a C2 Summit lightweight one liter waterproof sack. So I tested it with my old one to see if it was 100% waterproof and it's not. So what I did is I put the old one in this bag and I let it set for 20 minutes in a glass of water and it got soaked. But I also did the same test with the old one and I just dunked it in the water counted to five seconds and pulled it out and it stayed dry. So it is going to protect from splashes and it's going to protect from like a quick dip, like if I fall in. So what I do, I put it in the bag, make sure that the mic is still plugged in 
And then I just roll it up like like a normal like I normally would on a waterproof bag. So you roll it up. And then make sure that wire is not in the clip and then clip it. Once it's clipped, that's where the water would seep in. So the water seeps in through the cable and it wraps around and then it goes and it get it does get wet. But now I can splash it with water. It can be in my pocket. I can get splashed. I can fall in real quick and get out. As long as I take it out and make sure it's dry, I should be good. So this is going to save me, I don't know how much this thing costs. I'll put the cost here. I know it was a present. That's why I don't know how much it costs. But And this should save me from losing another one because it was heartbreaking. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys on this audio recorder. Let me get it out of my pocket. So the Sony audio recorder has an internal battery and it's got this little USB flip port here. You just push it boop, and the USB pops out. You see that? And when the USB is popped out like that, you just plug it into any USB and it charges the battery and it lasts a long time. 